Unbelievable. Isn't it unbelievable? Yep. Crazy. All right. Oh, here we go. Oh, I need some stuff in my hair. Okay. Hi, guys. Huh? We live? Yeah. I, so. okay. I must have hit the button. I didn't even realize it. Yeah. Okay. You guys, we had to come back. I didn't want to come back. Okay. I wanted to chill, but this is so unbelievable. Okay. So they're saying that, do you guys remember I did a, a video and I was talking about the Diddy case with uh, Tupac. And I, I had found out back then that uh, P. Diddy has a lot of cops and in, in, um, politicians, politicians, right, on his payroll. That's how he's been able to get away with a lot of things that he has for so long. And I'm talking mostly about the uh, Biggie and, and Tupac case. Uh, that How long ago was that? That was years. But anyway, so uh, reports are being said that uh, Diddy was tipped off a couple days ago, Sunday. When was that? That was yesterday. Yeah, that's yesterday. Okay, so now they're saying that he's... Go ahead, Perry. You're the one who told me the... Oh, 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 so the craziness? Yeah, he's in that T... Oh, no. Let me read the the TMZ article first. Okay, okay. That's great. Uh, okay, so now they're saying he's in Antigua with the intentions of going to Cape Verde because they don't have any extra extradition laws. I hope I said that right. Hold on. Let me put this up. Child, this is the only reason I came in, uh, came back on to talk about this because this is the new OJ. <laughs> Did you remember okay. when he was the, driving in that Bronco? <laughs> yeah, that white Bronco. The only thing he, he did is in a black private jet. It's not funny. I don't know why I'm laughing. P. Diddy, P. Diddy is an embarrassment. Okay, so she said, go ahead, read that, and then uh, go to Fox News. Okay, so uh, I'm sure you all have heard by now that P. Diddy uh, was en route when his boys were getting arrested or detained, whatever you want to call it, being a detained. Um, but let me read this first, and then I'll tell you how despicable he is. I mean, they are all big and bad until they get in trouble. Him, Russell, all of them. Yep. It says Diddy homes were raided in the U.S. to kick off the week. But the guy's own... Private jet is miles away in a completely different nation, although it's unclear if he's aboard himself. He's he's aboard. TMZ has tracked down Diddy's personal Love Air LLC jet, the well-known black Gulfstream 5 that Diddy has flaunted and flown for years. And it looks like the aircraft is currently on the ground in Antigua, which is down in the Caribbean. Based on the flight activity viewed by TMZ, Diddy's Jet has been up and down California between Sunday and Monday. So that goes into what we heard, that he was tipped off by an insider on Sunday. Taking off from Sacramento uh, Executive Airport Sunday evening around 530 and landing in Palm Springs International Airport about an hour later. An hour after that, around 730, Diddy took off from Palm Springs yet again and landed in Van Nuys. That's really weird. That's still the LA area. Well, do you need a jet for that? Yeah, maybe he drinking and just trying to figure it out. Should I go? <laughs> Should I stay? I don't know. Let me fly says, here again. Yeah. It says Monday the jet took off from Van Nuys Airport and landed at some point in Antigua. The plane is currently grounded, although the flight data has yet to been updated and registered him as having officially landed. In any case, it's definitely Diddy's jet, no question. The only thing that remains unanswered is whether Diddy is on the plane. He's on the plane. Thank you for becoming a member, Caddy. Um, the, o- the only thing that remains unanswered is whether Diddy is on the plane. We don't have any evidence that he is on the plane at this point. We also don't know what's happening on the scene. As we reported, two of Diddy homes in LA and Miami were swarmed by federal agents. Uh, We got all that. And taken into custody was his two sons, Justin and King. Why do they keep calling him King? I know Uh, that's his stage name, but okay. uh, 
uh, the raids were uh, are believed to be stemmed from accusations hurled at Diddy in multiple lawsuits, which have touched on alleged human and SEX trafficking, among other claims, all of which he's vehemently denied. Okay, so we're that's official from TMZ. It kind of matches what we heard that he got tipped off on Sunday. That's not. That's only what's today. Today, Monday. Well, damn. So he has people that can help him skip go, skip town, go on the run. And one of the people that he's good friends with that can help him is Russell Simmons. That's not a joke. That's serious. That's serious. That might he's be his good. next stop. That might be his next stop. Well, they're saying that he's planning on going to uh, Cap Verde, Cape Verde. Now, you were say saying something about the laws. Go ahead, Perry. No, I was just saying this. They don't have no extradition treaty with the United States. But however, they can send a suspect back to the United States. If and they, they want to. Year. Well, I guess if they want to, right. If but, they want to and if they're not being paid off. Well, that could be true. I'm not. I'm he just, could buy his freedom in Cape Verde. Right. I mean, they found his jet and people was like, well, is he on it? I don't think Diddy got his jet going back and forth around California, now heading out of the country, and his black ass not being on there. But here's the question. Did you know that your children were going to be a part of the array? Did you know that they would be in the house? Did you know they would get handcuffs put on them and detained? And what, you think you're just going to stay over there forever? Look, Russell left his kids, didn't he? Just saying, uh, you know, when you get to go, yeah. you get to go. Now, I mean, he ain't gonna get no Daddy of the Year award, no shit like that. But hey, just saying. Someone in the chat said that he was traveling all around before he left town, destroying evidence. That's that's so possible. Well, that is possible because they went into that house, them houses today, and they were looking for something. I believe it was those tapes. Right. I don't know. It's a lot of stuff going on because even on Twitter right now, they got things, people just saying that Diddy was involved in, in a blackmail honey, honey pot like uh, Epstein was had running. Wait, so wait, I, wait, I don't wait. know. Say it again. Like, okay, they, they basically said Diddy was involved in a blackmail honey, honey pot scheme similar to what Epstein had running. You know, when they fly the girls in and. Oh, oh yeah, that's what makes it. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez. I mean, I know uh, everybody was joking earlier about uh, Carisha. You better start heading out of town right now. But that's not a joke because they're saying that you were the Elon Maxwell of the whole mm -hmm. thing. They can get you too, Carisha. Right. Because where is she right now? Elon Maxwell. Prison. <laughs> okay. Prison. And if I he mean, leaves his boys, he damn sure will leave her. I mean, she wouldn't have a side piece. Oh my God. No, <laughs> so I mean, if you can leave your children, I don't I don't care if my children were in their 30s, in their 40s. I am not leaving my children to face a raid. And I, I he probably didn't even tell them, did he? He is oh. just Trash. You know, you know, I, think, I mean, if he would have told them, why would they be at the uh, mansion? I yeah, think they would have left yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about this so-called da damning evidence that Kamora Lee Simmons has against Diddy. Okay, I, I don't know if she spoke public about it, but the rumors are is that uh, she believes that Diddy unalived Kim Porter. This is unbelievable. We all know that Albie Shore um, believes it. He even told his son... Quincy, mm -hmm. she allegedly has some damning evidence about the Kim, about Kim passing away. And she always says that Kim did not pass away from a pneumonia. This is not looking, they're really describing Diddy to be a monster because we've had ex-cops come out and say that it was him that had to, something to do with the Tupac unaliving um and when the detective found out and had the evidence he mysteriously gets fired 
We've got Keefe D who's been saying it for years and we're just tired of uh, listening to Keefe D because, you know, I don't think the boy even got a GED, but that doesn't mean he's lying just because he, you know, he just goes on and on and on. He said right. that did he paid him off. He said it. Well, so, so you got him doing that. You've got him putting hands on women like Cassie and, I was watching, did you ever see the video of him having her in the corner and she had a blanket over her head? Uh-uh. You never seen that? Let me see if I, I see that it. video. Has anybody in the chat seen it? He he was really like just berating her. He really ain't shit. And that's why his ass on the run. Let's keep it real. The boy's on the run. He, he's definitely on the run. And let me tell you, uh, he could pay off officials and they won't extradite him. But then he's done. He could never, ever, ever come. Oh, people said they've seen that video. Yes. Let me see if I can find it. Um, he had to, He was like yelling at her and she was balled up in a little ball with a blanket over her head. And he was like, what do you got to say for yourself now? What do you got to say for yourself now? He is. A monster. Mm -mm -mm. He really is. And you can't have any kind of love for your children. I don't care if they're adults or not adults. Mm -hmm. That you know this is getting ready to happen. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to take calls so people can come up. MP Diddy. Woo! Well, when this shit hit, I mean, it's still I mean, you know, and, and it's crazy, like, you know, just out of the ordinary, we just sitting here just chilling. Big news, this is explosive. It's almost like when OJ just out of the blue, now yeah. he got traffic jammed up on I-5, <laughs> and he laying in the back seat praying. You know, what kind of shit is this? Now, Diddy gone, and they said that the, the uh, private jet land, but knowing him, he probably got on a, a commercial jet going to Dubai. I mean, I would, you know, I mean, because, you know, unless they got a warrant for his arrest, he's not a fugitive at that point. They go right. But, That's right. So that they probably couldn't really technically stop him. And if I was him with, it, you know, all this stuff and allegations coming out, he might be safer with Russell. Over In there. Bali? Uh-uh. Yeah, you like, can't come. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. You can't come to where I am. I oh, just hell. can't. He, he ain't, well, I ain't gonna say he he, he ain't too much better. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. If he ran from his charges, P. Did he definitely need to run for all his charges that's coming his way? Um, I'm trying to play this really quickly. See if this is it. Yeah, it's crazy. The whole damn thing is crazy. Do you see this? Let's see that. Let me take that down. Damn. I know I'm gonna play the clippings in a minute. I just wanted to play this really quick. He went from bad boy to scared boy in a minute. Gone. Don't fled United States. Damn. Let me try it again. A mess. A hot ass mess. And he's going to get away with it. <laughs> Look at somebody in the chat. Feel sorry for me. They gave you think me the so? link. Huh? You think so? Yeah. I have it. Hold on. Hey, oh no, Sherelle. I mean, I mean, because you always think that maybe he'll get away with it. And you know, early in the year, I was like, well. He probably won't be the same, his reputation to be shot. But right now, when they start raiding your mansions and shit now, it's a problem. No, he's done. He's done. And and he's even though you got some politicians and people that some went to the freak offs and shit that might not want their shit covered, they, they probably turn evidence just to, to keep their shit hidden. You know, those freaky <laughs> politicians. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Yeah. 
But this is about ready to be crazy for real. You never seen this? What? You want my, what? What you got to say now? What you got to say now? Damn. You ain't got shit to say when you put your girl on the snap. Baby. Yo, baby. I mean, shit getting weird. Come on, baby. It's hot outside. You fucking wrapped up in that blanket. Let's go jog on the beach. They said that 50 Cent put that out. Mm. Um, that's crazy. What you got to say now? now? He's getting ready to pay the price for all the shitty shit that he didn't what do. What you got to say now? When the fear is out of your head. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Do I it's think he... You know, those little lawsuits and stuff can be settled. Mm -hmm. But now you messing with the feds and some and our lead charges are big. That S trafficking, all that. Ooh, yeah. You yeah. can go to he can go to jail for the rest oh, of his yeah. life. Damn. This is crazy. I'm trying to see if I can find an update on it too while we're talking. Yeah, I'm looking for that too. That is crazy as shit. It really is. But they, 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 they found a jet. We can see what else we can get. Found a jet. I'm trying to see who's... Because I just seen it on CNN, but it just went off. Yeah, okay. Let's see. <sighs> this is just sickening. It's very sickening and disturbing. And some, something's so wrong with this boy, it's not even funny. Yeah. Diddy's private jet has landed in the Caribbean while homes were raided by feds. He got tipped off. Now, here's the thing, Perry. Everybody's saying that, you know, he'll pay off a cop. Oh, Lord, look at this. This can't mm -hmm. be. This can't be. Well, this is on page six. This can't be. <laughs> you knew. This, did you see him in that hat? Hold on. Let me get this. He has not been indicted for anything yet, and he is free to move wherever he wants, unless they told him don't move. But I doubt that they told him that, because I think that this was a this. surprise raid. Okay, that can't be him. <laughs> that can't be him. That's him, isn't it? Now, you think that's an old picture, though? Like it has to be. Yeah. Okay. This is uh, Sean Diddy Combs. Private jet was reportedly on the ground in the Caribbean while Homeland Security raided several of his properties in the States. But it's unclear if the rapper was the one using the plane. Who else is going to be using the plane? According to NBC News, Homeland Security officials seized phones from Combs in Miami before he was scheduled to fly to the Bahamas for vacation. So let me read that again. According to NBC News, Homeland Security. Huh? Okay, I got it. It says, according to NBC News, Homeland Security officials seized phones from Cohn in Miami before he was scheduled to fly to the Bahamas for vacation. He's not on vacation. While law officers source didn't reveal if he still went on the trip, they told the outlet he was in Miami when they arrived to his property with GUNs drawn on Monday. So he was at the Miami home before the raid. However, they did not specify whether or not Combs was home or somewhere else in the city. That can't be him. That's these are old pictures. It have to yeah. be. Yeah, no, I, I think they uh, basically just showing the jet. You know what I mean? Like a, just a picture of it, and mm -hmm. it's an old thing. But but like like TMZ got this new update, right? And it's sort of crazy. But, but I mean, for sure, you can't play the video though. But look at this. Look uh, at this. Look at this. Diddy on video pacing around airport after two federal raids. They have a video. I can't play it. You can't show the video, but it's an article too. Oh, okay. I'll just it's show you the article. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can't click it. It says yeah. Diddy 
on video pacing around airport after two federal raids. There's no way in hell you could tell me that he had no idea that those raids were going off. I believe the rumors, he was tipped off and that's when his plan kicked in the gear. Let's go and go to, is it Cape Verde? I can't yeah, pronounce uh -huh. it. It says TMZ has the first video of Diddy after his homes were raided by the feds Monday. And instead of being in handcuffs and on the ground, the guy was kind of just walking around. Check out this footage we obtained. I can't play the footage. No, uh-uh. Shot around 3 p.m. Monday. That's like three hours yeah. ago. A couple of hours after the raids of his home got underway at the Miami Opa Laka. Is that where Carisha's from? She, I don't know. She's from there. Hold on. Because I remember I couldn't pronounce this name. What is it? Opa? Here it is. That's where Carisha's from. Well, that's really weird. Huh. Uh, maybe he had to make a pit stop before he left the country. Hmm, that's really weird. Let me go back. Um, Opalaka. Perry, go go look that up for Carisha. Anyway, uh, where eyewitnesses tell us Diddy and some other people got stopped by the feds. Other people? Hmm. We're told his shows Diddy pacing around a customs office there at the airport. And as you can see, he's not being detained. Hmm. And he certainly doesn't seem to be in custody. Well, instead, Diddy is just walking around all by his lonesome. Mm. He knew. He knew. He knew. He left them kids in that house. He went around. I don't know what, what was he doing going around right before he left, going to different places. Maybe he was destroying evidence. I don't know. But I'm telling you, if I'm in Michigan and I get a call that my kids have been detained, I'm going. You don't have to come looking for me. I'm going where my kids are, period. Because I'm not going to let my kids be questioned, brought down, arrested right. for some shit that I did. Oh, sorry. Uh, why would he be pacing around our airport, though? Because he's g gassing up the jet. you ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's why this man is on the run, OJ style. And he got out before he could get arrested. He knew what was going on. He, he's the same MFR that brought his kids to the damn freak off. Something is wrong with Diddy in his mind. And I guarantee you, he will not return to the United States. Just, yes, just yes, low ball. And yes, let's talk sure. about Quincy. Let's talk about Quincy has been in mental anguish since his mother passed, mm -hmm. knowing what his real daddy is saying about the man that took care of him, the only father he knew. Because he didn't meet Al be sure until he was like 18. Mm -hmm. Poor Quincy. That's Poor Quincy. It's well. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. That man is on the run. And that's what they put down here on the run. He on the run. You don't, Listen, they might not tell you technically they don't know if he's on the plane. Who else is on the damn plane? His ass. He's on that plane. And he is not coming back to the United States. He's going to live in exile just like Russell Simmons. And everybody got to be on their P's and Q's. Because in a couple years now, if he tries to step foot back into the U.S. like Russell did, Oh, I'm just going to go to a couple parties. Somebody need to report his ass. <laughs> so what happens to the lawsuits if the main subject isn't here? What do you think is going to happen, Perry? So, so what now? Yeah, they had a warrant for his arrest earlier. People are asking. Yeah, they had a warrant. <sighs> yeah, hold on for a second. I'm trying to read something real fast. I just, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on, you guys. Here, here it is. He's not out of the country. They stopped his jet. Stop the, stop the, what is that blue thing? Um, 
And so you know, I think we he's talking a- about. Remember, we was talking about King and um, uh, Justin. Justin, uh huh. Right. Also, is word that one of the twins was handcuffed as well. And don't say him. that. Don't say that. Huh? Are you kidding me? Oh no! Yeah, I, I thought you. I'm like, well, shit. were the twins at one of the houses during the raid? Apparently so. Because are you getting that from your special source? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, oh, okay. And well. also, uh, tell the story that you're, you learned from your special source about uh, his jurisdiction and all of that. Oh, yeah. Basically, um, you know, like everybody that watch Housewives know Jen Shaw from Utah, right? Mm-hmm. And it's the same district court, the Southern District of New York, that's going out to Diddy. And their success record is really high. Is it what, 98% or something like that, Sherelle? Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. I was but, reading something. Um, it's the same, di- same district that issued the warrant for Diddy. It's the same one that issued the warrant for Jen Shaw. And right. their success record is up there. You don't want to be sued by this district. They yeah. don't play. They also got Donald Trump on a couple things too. They have a 98 successful track record. Um, somebody just texted me. They said, yeah. Sherelle, WAC 100 claims that the FBI forced Diddy's private jet to land to snatch him up. Why would I believe, hold on. Why would I believe WAC 100? Hold on a second. Some, they're calling me right now. Hold on. Yep, because the damn success rate is 98%. I mean, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. But this shit is it's so wild. It's sort of out there. <laughs> okay, so somebody just told me that WAC 100 said that they made the plane land in Antigua to arrest him, but he was not on the plane. That's coming from WAC 100. I don't know about WAC. WAC Why would his plane be flying all over like that and and did he not be on the plane? Mm. But, 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 we know he was on his way to Cape Verde and he did make a special stop in Antigua and, and TMZ knew about it, which means if TMZ knew about it, the feds knew about it, maybe he's not on the plane. Unless he switched it up and figured they'll they'll follow the plane and be there right. waiting on the way he did a decoy and got his ass on a commercial flight <laughs> and coach. It was a decoy. You're right. That's right. Okay. Sorry, Wack. <laughs> I just called the boy. I said, sorry, Wack. Uh, I think you might be right. I think that because uh, they said that he was forced. Your information said that they forced the plane to land. They told you that. And so that's the same thing Wack is saying. And he's saying that he's not on that plane. Mm. He may be eating rice with Russell right about now. You are messy. Where where is he then? <laughs> Wack as in Blue Faces manager, the one and only. <laughs> Just <laughs> the one and only. I don't have anything against whack either. That I, that was just playing with you. Okay, I hope I just hope they are successful when taking down Trump. Well, they they're going to take down Trump and did he any of anybody else who comes in that jurisdiction? What's the name of the jurisdiction, Perry? Uh, it was uh, United States District Court of the Southern District of New York. It's a wrap. It mm-hmm. is a wrap. So now we got to figure out where the hell Puffy is. I don't think he's on the plane. If y'all think he's on a plane, put a one in the chat. If y'all think he's on the plane, I believe whack this one time, one and only time. Diddy will off himself. Ooh. Mm. What not? What? I was just reading this. This is a oh. very much a possibility. Uh, no. A lot of people don't think he's on the plane. Yeah, no, he people- didn't do that, though. He's too selfish. He'll be over there with Russell. By men and women. I don't think he's on the plane either. But then who's on the plane? Okay, people are saying he's not on the plane. He's not on the plane. I do remember, Perry, when your source called in, told you that they forced him to pull over. So he's not on the plane. 
Where the hell is Diddy? Diddy? Huh. Damn, if he's not on the plane, where the hell is he? Yeah. I don't know. Mm. But he was at the airport. They have pictures of him at the airport. Huh. They got pictures of him at the airport. And they got all kind of shit going on, though. <laughs> nah. Uh, uh, I think he's on the run. I think he used the plane as a decoy. Oh, yeah, that's what I think. Maybe. Listen, we all know he has uh, politicians and, and police informants in his on his payroll. So they easily can give him the information. That's how he knew to skip town. But we just don't know where he's at. Huh. It's Diddy said, today. Oh. And then huh? it, it, I said it's Diddy today and maybe some more to come this whole year. And like they got all kind of stuff popping up out there like Meek Mills for Meek Mills sake. He better hope they don't find those uh, photos and videotapes. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's crazy. Listen, Summer's right. He could be on somebody else's jet. There, This is a decoy. He wants us all to look over here while he goes looks over here. And he very well could be in Bali with Russell Simmons because they're boys, remember? Because mm -hmm. he got to get out the United States. He, he got to get out the yeah. United States. He going to want somebody to talk to. Child, this is messy. This is messy. And he left them boys to be detained. What did you say? One of the, somebody, is this your reliable source telling you that one of the girls were? Yes. Oh, no. No reason With to be Clive wrong. Davis and T.D. Jakes <laughs> strategizing, <laughs> swallowing. <laughs> Just, no, this is, this is a decoy. This is a decoy. But he was at the airport. In Miami, the Opelika uh, uh, airport, which is kind of odd. Opelika, is it Opelika or something like Opelika. that? Opelika, yeah, that's yeah. it. I think yeah, that's I where Carisha's from. That's a little city. I said he had to make a pit stop before he fled. Carisha. He probably told her to run, too, and didn't even tell his boys. She's from Opalaka. That's just really weird. Hmm. Strange. He didn't pick her up, did he? Not like, where the hell is, why is he in Opal Op maybe, Opalaka? Maybe he could have picked her ass up. Because if he left her here by herself, she'd be squealing on him. Um, it's wow. really, really strange. You're still in touch with your, I can't show that. I can't show that. Oh, I just showed it. My bad. Um, yeah. yeah. You still got your thing open for your right. Uh -huh. course, I right? Yep. I feel like calling nosy. <laughs> I do, because this is very strange. Yeah. Close to the Opalaka. Ah, it's a lot going on. I, 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 jet was there and made to come back to New York was where Opalaka, where Carisha's from. That's really weird. Right I, I gotta grab my charger. All right, let me know if you get any updates. Okay. Someone said he thought he'd never get caught. Well, right now he ain't caught. I mean, mm. He's going down. No Diddy with Meek. Y'all are messy. <laughs> Young Miami and friends to get on the plane for the decor. Because I know she's from Opalaka. Because I remember I did a, a biography on Carisha. And she was from this place I couldn't pronounce. And now they got footage of him at that airport. Mm. This is This is weird. Really, really weird. Well, let me see. Has Carisha tweeted today? Let me go look. Hold on. 
Because I need to know where she at. If she did, it was four letters. H-E-L-P. <laughs> uh, what is her, her rap name? Young Miami. Okay. Let me see if she tweeted today. <sighs> Today's date is the 25th. Okay. She tweeted yesterday. Okay. And then nothing, yes. nothing. Well, no, no. She's been tweeting today. Mm. Hmm. That was five hours ago. Let me put it on the screen. I don't know. It's just really weird. Really weird. She's just just posting little stuff. You know, I was pregnant, looking dumb. Stop overthinking. If it's God's will, it will happen and nothing will stop it. If it's not God has a better plan, have peace knowing that. She always acts like she's not bothered. So no mention of packing. You're messy. <laughs> Damn. No, but this fitting to be a a, a fun summer. Mm, really weird. So, so um, you know, have you guys been hearing the, the rumors that uh, the city girls broke up, and that uh, Carisha, uh, well, JT ain't messing with Carisha. Have y'all heard that that they broke up? So she don't have the city girl money, child. She probably on the plane with Diddy. <laughs> How's she gonna take care of herself? I don't know. Hold on. Let me see the latest. Oh, uh, Perry, did she tell you who the judge was? Uh, no. Let me see no, if it's I can the district, case. though. It's just that district, you know, so whoever is in charge of the district, but they're the one that issued the warrant, you know, to check out the property and stuff. Yep. I'm still here, Sherelle. I'm just trying to see if it, any, any more updates. <laughs> no, uh, Drita just sent me this thing. It's, it's the shade room is saying, where's Carisha at? We want to know where Carisha at. We didn't beat y'all to it. We want to know where Carisha is. Let me, I'm going to pace her. Let me see if I can pull up the case really quick. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Drita. Okay, if so you want to come up, let me know. Hmm? Here's an update. Okay, they are ahead. currently looking for Diddy right now. And his attorneys are at the federal building where they took the kids. So the what? attorneys, yeah, the attorneys at the federal building. In what city? Uh, well, As- that would be L.A. The, the, uh, oh, that's the one where they got the kids. That are was that the one in Miami? No, it was in L.A. Yeah, right. So that's where the attorneys at. And Diddy, shit, is on his way to to see Russell, I guess. Oh, I guess uh, the shade room said, where is Carisha? And she p- replied, she said, right here. What's up, LOL? Mm. Oh, she won't, yeah, she won't be LOL and soon. So re- uh, say that again, Perry. So I can, you said that the kids are, and you're talking about Justin and... and um, uh, King, King mm-hmm. and then one of the twins. One of the twins? Why, why, keep telling why would me- they take one of the... Tw- but why would they take one of the twins? Well, I think they just probably took everybody out the house for questioning. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Why did they take Justin? Why did they take King? Mm-hmm. Why are they taking the computers? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Some of the curtains mm-hmm. with stains on it. I don't know. I mean, they, they uh, I don't know. But that's the word. And that's where the attorney's at right now. Okay. Now, they, right. no signs of Diddy. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Someone said, not the twins. It's the oldest daughter, Chance. Oh, Chance. Oh, one of, That's okay. right. He has another Chance. And then he has a little girl named, uh, they call Love. But why Why are they taking in the kids? Chance can't be more. Than, she's a teenager. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, for questioning, I mean, when accidents or things happen. Sharice says that they, a teenager? Huh? that they release the boys. Good. Good, okay. Good. Good. Yeah. So I'm saying, like, I mean, you know, teens get in trouble all the time. It don't mean that they ain't w- without questioning. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? 
She's 18. Okay. Mm. I just want to know that exotic last baby mama of the fiddler feel right now. She must feel real dumb. Well, I mean, how does baby love? She's an infant. She can't be no more than two, if that. Maybe one. She's little. And she will. Mm -hmm. And that is the word too, right? I just got okay. this up there, right? Basically, okay. you keep saying, well, why do they take one of the daughters? Why do they take the boys? Basically, they took everybody that was in the house at the time. That's what you got it, from your connection? Including the staff. Mm -hmm. Oh, they took, they arrested the staff? Well, it's not arrested. I it's mean, just, took yeah, detained or whatever. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. That's I, guess, I guess, I mean, that's how you find out information. You mm -hmm. question the neighbor, whether he was part of it. Uh, you know, I don't Someone know. Someone said to clear the house. That's exactly yes. what they did. And you okay. can go in there and you could search, you know, all, as long as you want. Mm -mm. They cleared the house. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have a see. feeling, Nevin, that Diddy's not going to jail. I have a feeling he'll stay in Bali before he goes to court. That's just the feeling that I get because it's too much, too much on him. Yeah. Because sooner or later, he has to answer questions about Kim Porter's death. Why are there two, why were there two autopsies? Why did the other, uh, the original coroner get f uh, fired? Mm -hmm. How you just, you know, what happened to the information he had? Why did he come up unalived? Diddy has had his hands in too much shit. Yep. And you can only pay people off for so long. And now the everybody, the world is looking at him. Two autopsy reports. One, the first one, they said that she was uh, given poison. Right. I mean, I mean, you don't think. Uh, now, when the last time young Miami tweeted, tweeted. Uh, five because hours ago. If he was in Opalaka. Uh, open locker, he could have dropped off some homemade soup for her before he fled. No, I'm really serious. What was that? I just did a whole video about it. The the first coroner, and let, let me tell you something. When you are a medical examiner, that's another name for a coroner, they keep their jobs for life. Because first of all, not too many people want to do it. Second mm -hmm. of all, he had been in that profession over 20 years. So this is not a new coroner. He said that Kim passed away from poisoning. Mm. That's very specific. They fire him, bring in a new coroner. David, that's his name. What was his name? David Winner? David. David goes, gets a judge to reopen the case. And then a couple of days later, he's no longer with us. Mm. Let me see if I can find his picture. Damn. You, you heard this story, right? Too many yeah. people come unalive around Diddy ass. I mean, Too many. Time, I mean, every time they about ready to expose something. Well, you yeah. Because they said that Kim was going to write a tell-all. Yeah. Yeah. I had his picture. And that's why I'm wondering, like, if he fled like that and know that young Miami know a lot of stuff, he could have seriously gave her a bowl of homemade soup. Just saying. When I, I say did. that, with something mixed in it, if you don't know, understand what I'm saying. He could have made on. sure she couldn't talk. Hold on. I know for a fact. I can't pull up the, the guy's picture. I know for a fact I did a video on it. Hold on. Let me see here. Mm -mm. We got, uh, let me see this. Hold on. I'm still here, Sherelle. Still looking. Trying to find us another update. This I'm is. trying to find this damn picture that, oh, here, this is, this is the video I did. The video they tried to get taken down, by the way. I know how to. Where is that? Where 
was that before? Hold on. David Winter. That was his name. David Winter. You mean to tell me they fired a man that has been, geez, did Kim pass before he got arrested for beating up the coach? Um, I can't remember. I don't know. I can't remember that timeline. Jeez, I can't find it. Diddy's too damn shady, and he needs to pay for what he did. And if you ask me, one of the things he did was unalive Kim Porter. And it's a very strong statement, but I've been following this for a while. Let me see what this is. Oh, there he is. There he is. I don't know what I did with it. Really, really strange. All of it. And why do people keep coming up unalived around his ass? Mm-hmm. I had it for a minute. Anyway, David Winter was his name. You're talking about the coordinator, right? That mm-hmm. ended up- did you pull yeah. him up? Huh? Did you pull him up? Uh, no, I didn't. Um, I had his picture, but I can't find it. Mm, it's just sad. Diddy's pathetic. You're on the run. We just need to find out where the hell you at. Because I don't think he was at the airport. This is all just a decoy. Let me pull some stuff, and then I'm going to get back to finding this case because it's crazy. Diddy beat up Coach in 2015. I remember that. That was this. Here that was. Let me put this up here really quick. He is a disgusting, disgusting, and he needs to be behind bars. They say that Cassie has PTSD. And I believe it. He would be on the field. He would call plays until one day coach took his son, Justin, out the game because that's what coaches are allowed to do. They are allowed to say who's going to play and who's not going to play. However, when he took Justin out the game, the rumors are P. Diddy lost it. A motorcade leaving UCLA campus transporting Sean Combs, a.k.a. Diddy, to the men's central jail in downtown L.A. After campus police say Diddy was arrested for assaulting one of UCLA's football coaches with a kettlebell, a type of weight. Police say Diddy is facing three counts of assault with a deadly weapon, one count of making terrorist threats, and one count of battery. Now the rumors are they said he beat that man to a pole. Damn. Beat that man to a pulp. And he, he's getting away with all of this stuff. And it's just not going to work anymore. I don't know where the hell he is, but I'm going to uh, take a couple comments and then we're out. Okay. Do you think uh, she, do your informant has anything else to say? No, I was checking. I, I don't see anything else so far. Okay. All right. So let me pull. What do you guys think? Let's pull some comments. I just don't think Kim would publish a tell-all when Diddy paid all her bills and she lived lavishly. Hurting him would also be hurting her own children. I just don't see it, despite the theories. I get where you're coming from, Gia, but you cannot take away from the fact that there were two autopsies. One was poison. The other one was a pneumonia. You Mm -hmm. can't take away the fact that the coroner who got fired, his name was D- David Winter, got the case reopened, and then he got found unalive a couple days later. So that's the stuff that. Now, didn't Kim have wrong. friends? I mean, didn't Kim have friends around at the time that said that she was going to publish a tell-all? K- friends, Kamora Lee Simmons. All right, right, yeah, right. I just couldn't remember the name. So. Why would they say it was a tell, you know, that she was going to do a book or whatever? And, you know. I, it's the, I, I cannot take away the fact 
that a police officer, what was his name? David Kincaid, Greg Kincaid said that, did he put a hit out on Tupac, a mm. cop? And then mm. when he goes to tell his story to his boss, all of a sudden he gets fired. We can't ignore all that. We, nope. the, the Keefe D is saying right now to this day, to anybody who will listen, P. Diddy paid me and, and Orlando to take out Tupac. So these are just facts. He's just, he's just, mm -mm, he's a, a nasty man. Remember he broke Kim's nose once he broke her nose. I think she hit him with the corkscrew. He did all kinds of stuff. The girl that went on Tasha K's show, Gina, it's just a mess. Diddy's father was a close associate to Frank Luca. You're talking about the American gangster? Mm. Wow. Very interesting. Very interesting. Tupac said the first time he got shot that, oh my God, he did say that, Robin. He said that. And I thought at the time, oh, this is just beef. And no, he said that Tupac, that Diddy had him shot. This is crazy. Yes, I think he was killed. Anyway. Because I can believe it. Like, <laughs> I mean, I mean, because like, who they think shot the, uh, his son, Justin's friends at, at that place. Uh, That's right. Team. That's yeah. right. It's too mm -hmm. many coincidences. So that was in the, the, the Rodney Jones report that uh, Diddy shot one of uh, Justin's friends in the bathroom and told everyone to lie to the cops. So mm -hmm. I'm going to put all this together. Uh, Perry has a very good informant that's really keeping the update updated on the scene, and we will keep you updated because I don't know where the hell he is. Right. But he's in hiding, and I don't think he's on the plane. Well, trust me. Because they would have uh, handcuffed him. And wait, okay, hold on one more. He's not in front of a mic talking. I tell you that. No. Okay. So somebody say, is telling me that World Star is reporting that uh, Diddy was detained in Miami. That would be all over TMZ if that yeah. happened. Right. I I, I, mean, I I appreciate you trying to help me. I don't think he's in Miami. That's what I'm I thinking. Mean, I, they got pictures of him in Miami. So if they were close enough to get pictures, they would have called the cops and somebody would have arrested him. Um, this is so, this is so ridiculous. <laughs> and that's if they got a warrant for his arrest. You see what I'm saying? Like they had a warrant to search his property. Okay. So you talked to somebody that's involved and you I said they is, issued heard. a warrant on what? For them to search the property for evidence. They, they, they basically trying to, to build a case or get more evidence. Right. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I haven't heard that he had a warrant for his arrest. So, I mean, I guess he could be walking around the airport or whatever, but. I'm, people I'm think sure. in the chat, some people that he was detained in Miami. Uh, if he was detained in Miami, there would be no need for uh, TMZ to report that he landed. And I heard it was a forced landing. You heard it was a forced landing. WAC 100 mm -hmm. saying it was a forced landing in, um, well, yeah, in uh, Antigua. Hmm. Yeah, but I don't see nothing about him being arrested nowhere laura says they took diddy's phones at whatever airport miami he was leaving from it was miami diddy father was a big drug lord really street dude and the mama was a street woman whoa brought men's home oh regularly with diddy around i think he mentioned something about that about his childhood about the mom bringing men around did he has a I was just saying that, about the one off, off Twitter, Sherelle, that saying that uh, I have heard from multiple sources that Diddy was detained in Miami. Detained doesn't mean arrest and charge. I know other news organizations are trying to chase down this as well. Okay, but so you got this off of Twitter? Yeah. That he was detained in sure, Miami? Sure yeah, I mean, but it's, it's simply not worth stating this as fact until... It's confirmed. Basically, it's rumors that he's been detained too, right? Because you don't get arrested unless it's a warrant. So, 
but got you, got you, got you. I'm sure TMZ is everywhere. Like they pay so many people. Uh -huh. Yeah, almost like when you wake up there in your bathroom, your back seat when you leave. I'm sure somebody TMZ will be talking about it. TMZ has a video of him on their website right now claiming it's exclusive. Let me go and see. Let me go and see what TMZ got. Uh -huh. They're talking about the video of him pacing back and forth. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought something new had popped up. No. Okay. Mm. Hmm. So they're saying he was in Miami here. And uh, I don't know why they labeled it on the run. They labeled it on the run. Well, Oof. I mean, I feel like he on the run. Or thinking about, well, yeah, pretty much on the run. Yeah, this is a mess. This is the new OJ. He done messed up his life forever on some dumb mm -hmm. shit. All right, let me pull a couple and then we're out. And and you think that, and so whatever, so Perry has someone that's working closely in the case. Um, and if they have more information, I guess we'll just hold it till tomorrow. Not detainment in Miami. TMZ posted a video of him at the Miami airport immunity after the raid. Yeah, that's what this is. Mm. And what's this on uh look like Jasmine brand? Russell Simmons left stunned after being served with defamation lawsuit. That's right. Let me okay, let me switch it really of quick. His S A accusers. So they're saying everybody that Russell Simmons is not funny, got served in Bali. Hmm. So but they they don't have any extradition laws, but anybody can send you back if they want to. You see what I mean? Let me pull that up. It's on the Jasmine brand. Yeah. This is weird. On Instagram. Yeah, try that. Okay. Yeah, I heard that just before I came on that they served Russell Simmons with some, uh, here, let me put this up here. Damn. Did he accuse of fleeing to secluded island during the home raids? Yeah. I don't know. If he was headed for Cape Verde. Mm. Let me pull this down. Let me see what we got. No, no, I don't want that one. Mm. This is a mess. Okay. Mm-hmm. Damn trip. It really is. Wow. <sighs> it says here. Uh, Russell Simmons shocked after serve lawsuit in Bali. They served him in Bali. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Since recent reports reveal that Russell Simmons, now residing in Bali, is still grappling with accusations of SA, even this remote location, allegations have followed him to Bali, where he faces legal action. Daniel J. Ayob. A processor served and delivered Simmons the lawsuit on Simmons' behalf of Drew Dixon, a former music exec. So, <laughs> so somebody went over there to serve him. Despite navigating through security checkpoints, this person spent an hour searching for Simmons before they finally located him. And this is a name, Ayub. 
confirmed that the person he served was indeed Russell Simmons, a renowned celebrity recognized not only in Bali, but also across the United States and beyond. Simmons was accompanied by some associates when Ayub approached him. Ayub reportedly apologized for the interruption and handed Simmons the legal documents informing him that they were intended for him. Simmons appeared to be taken back upon receiving the documents, prompting him to contact his security team and other as associates. Uh, the incident highlights the persistence of the legals of legal challenge of the legal challenges facing Simmons, even in this current resident in Bali. Despite his fame and influence, Simmons seemingly continued to grapple with these allegations of SA and facing the legal repercussions. So they could serve you there, okay? Mm -hmm. But if they don't extradite you back, it won't mean a thing. But if they can manage to convince the proper authorities in Bali to send you back, that's exactly what they're going to do. So it looks like, Russell, you're not off. You're not off. Mm -hmm. If Bali decides to send you back, you've got to face these charges. And you say you're innocent. Then come face the charges. <laughs> it screams guilt when you're on the run. I hope you have not talked to your homeboy, Puffy, <laughs> giving him this fake advice that you could just live in exile for the rest of your life. If the officials say you can and you probably can pay them off, then fine. I don't know if Russell Simmons is still rich. Do you know? Oh, well, shit, I don't know. Mm -mm. I mean, because I always wonder if he left like that, can he still keep money in the banks over here? I don't I don't even know that. Yeah, I don't know. That works anyway. Uh, check your uh connects, and then if she if they're not updating you, then we're out. Okay, let me see. Special, uh, 1996. It's bigger, Sherelle. Russell wants freedom. I know he wants freedom, but he's never gonna have true freedom unless he faces his charges. He has to face the charges. Usher drop Russell off a <laughs> y'all messy. <laughs> he's got to he's got to face it. Bali does not have an extradition agreement with the U.S. They don't, so most likely they're not going to extradite him. But if they decide that they want to, even though they don't have extradition laws, they can. So it's just a so you're truly you know you're. Who wants to live like that anyway? Russell and Diddy say they are innocent, but they asked Rand at least R. Kelly stayed and is facing his charges. Face uh -huh. your charges, Russell. I, by the way, really like Russell Simmons, but you're acting guilty. Come back, prove your innocence, fight your case. You know, yeah. if not, you're always going to be treated as a criminal. But I All right, say this, though. Mm -hmm. Now, if he is in uh, Antigua, mm -hmm. if he's there, they don't have no extradition laws. But if we have an embassy there, it'd be easy for for um, the DHS to contact them, and they can help apprehend him. Because even though they don't have those laws, that they still work with the United States. Yes, yeah, some of them. Embassy that they yeah. can work it out. Mm -hmm. And remember, I said it happened to some people before. I think last year, mm -hmm. the Traverius brothers. You were talking yeah. to me about that. Yeah. Yeah. They will, they yeah. can't, if, you know, it doesn't mean they can't send you back if you have no extradition yeah. laws. Right. Go ahead. Now, if he go over there and he got somebody inside there and he paying them off. He, I know. know. So it, it's sort of crazy. Someone says, Perry, you are wrong. Hmm? Uh, hold on. What happened? It, it went quick. I don't know. Someone said you're wrong. Anyway, uh, listen, you guys, we got to stay on this case. I'm sure there'll be more going on because sooner or later, uh, Diddy has to su uh, surface somewhere. Right. So we'll keep you updated. Ooh, child, this is we the gotta new come on at 1 a.m. in the morning if they catch him. And if they ever catch Diddy, <laughs> run back because we're going live immediately. Okay. 
All right, y'all. Thank you for listening, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Night-night.